been a, I've been a fan of fruits for a long time, but now I'm getting into this smoothie cake. And this is a good smoothie right here. Woo! What's going on, guys? Lockout Man here once again with another sad reaction video. Now this uh this this incident happened a couple of days ago. It wasn't no stories out there. It probably might be some stories generating now after the fact, but you know, I, I did get I did get video of the crash. Not the crash itself, but the aftermath of the crash, you know, like the smoke in the distance and shit like that. But Give me a minute, sit down, and we'll chop it up. Let's go. Unfortunately, I don't have my little speak. I mean my little recorder to To speak to you guys a little bit clear, you know You probably might be hearing the background noise from the truck the vibration and stuff like that And I am so sorry for that. <laughs> I apologize. I had this cough That I haven't been able to kick for the longest time I did go to the doctor they did tell me that it probably might be allergies or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. That's why I'm going to go ahead and see my own personal doctor and get a better assessment of what's going on. Because when you get a nagging cough in your chest like this, it could be concerns for a more immediate health look guys there's been a lot of a lot of accidents that's been going on lately that's been involving tractor trailers and four-wheelers alike man let me let me rewind back to last week where a four-wheeler cut off this semi driver and instead of he is being considered a hero because instead of veering in the traffic, dodging the car, he sacrificed his life and he veered off the off the road, off the bridge, and tumbled all the way into a chemical plant, which was about a hundred feet down. We do have a witness that saw what happened up on the freeway. The witness stated that a, a smaller vehicle cut off the 18-wheeler. Uh, so we're going to try to determine to see if that's correct or not. And like I said, that's when he veered off to try to avoid striking uh, the vehicle. So he went over the over the rail. During the rescue effort, they said that he was alive. But during the rescue effort, he succumbed to his injuries and he passed. So, so sick so so sick ain't no telling why the car did what it did but see what you guys got to understand four wheelers and i'm talking to you drivers the the drivers of these cars man y'all gotta stop doing this madness to us out here man you know there's way we we're sacrificing our lives out here trying to make sure that we get this product to you but yet you're making our job hard by doing stupid stuff like cutting us off because you're in a hurry. Don't do that. Stop doing that. Whatever you're doing, stop the madness. Stop doing that, man. Now, this young lady, a Stevens driver. So before I get into uh, talking about this young lady right here, uh, this young Stevens driver uh, by the name of Rashida, I want to say shout out to my man, uh, Young Grind, uh, for bringing the story to me. You know, it was all over Facebook and it wasn't much uh, to go on. So shout out to my man's uh, Young Grind for locating the story and getting it to me 
so I can get it to you guys. She was a Stevens driver. So they said that the crash happened Thursday morning when the driver of a pickup truck carrying three passengers crossed the center line into the eastbound traffic colliding with the young lady's truck. Not paying attention, probably might be distracted, probably went to sleep, probably was on the phone, probably was testing. Probably, probably, probably a whole lot of stuff, but the incident probably shouldn't have never happened. And this young lady didn't have to lose her life so young, 25 years old, if I'm not mistaken, or she's in her 20s. Didn't even get good into the game yet. Same thing with the driver that went over the went over the bridge. Didn't even get good in the game yet. So young. Just out here trying to get their experience. Just out here trying to take care of their family. It's a dangerous game. For whatever reason that they decide to come into this game. They don't deserve to die in this game. Just saying. They don't deserve that. I mean, when I came in this game about four years ago, did I say did, did I say to myself that I was gonna worry about not coming home? Now that was on my mind when I went out for the police academy back in the late uh, back in the early 2000s yeah I worried about if I was going to come home because the occupation I was getting in was dangerous I didn't think that trucking was going to be that dangerous I knew that it's dangerous but I didn't know it was going to be this freaking dangerous that literally I get into an accident and I might not be able I'm, I might not I might not be able to see my family today or tomorrow so sad that this happened both vehicles caught fire after the crash four workers in the pickup including the young lady has passed at the scene it's unclear what caused the pickup to cross the lanes? But Officer Will, I mean, but Officer Ray Wilson said that Friday, alcohol does not appear to be a factor. So, okay, so alcohol, alcohol, alcohol is that a word? Alcohol is not a factor in that incident, but somebody not paying attention and being distracted was. We got to be careful out here. We got to be careful. The driver of the tractor trailer rig was identified as Ray Shonda Riley, 27 of Arlington, Texas. Police say the rig was used for hauling sand, but it was empty at the time of the crash. She was a, fa a fracked sand driver. I'm still interested in getting into fracked sand. So. Guys, look, leave your comments for this young lady. Uh, your condolences, condolences, condolence, and everything. Your well wishes, your prayers. Leave them all in the comments below. I will try to come back with more information if I come across. This is just another young lady, another lady driver that's that sacrificed her life for what she was doing for her family. And um, and I just hope that we don't we we don't get more. Even though even though it is it's inevitable, but I I just don't want to see it. All right, this is Lockout Man. You guys like videos like this and more? Yo, these reaction videos that I do now. Yo, hit me up with some likes, some comments, some subscribes, some hit some of the bells all that good stuff so that you guys can get videos like this on the daily this is lockout man rest in peace to my young lady all right you guys take it easy i'll talk to y'all later peace